Hi YouTube, this is Factor. Welcome to my Red Angel Update Video 2 Part 1. This update video series will cover the installation of the EK water block for Rampage for Extreme as well as new pump and radiators. I will also install another Vertex 4 128GB SSD inside the rack with the first one I already have. For the new RADs, I have a SwiftTech MCR 220XP and the SwiftTech MCR 120XP. I will also add a second SwiftTech MCP35X so I will have two pumps in series in the same loop to almost double the flow rate and have a better head pressure. Uh, the reason for this is as my loop will become more restrictive with new wall blocks, radiators, tubing and fittings, uh, you know, I started to think about flow rate. So I found graphics on the web about pressure drop for every components I already have and for those I plan to install, such as wall block, radiators, 45 and 90 degree fittings, elbows and tubing. And uh, the flow rate for a single MCP35X will be just between good and poor. So I decided to add another one and put them in series. I will also add a flow meter to control my flow rate. So basically, I'm going to rebuild my entire system from ground up. So you'll see a complete bird log as I just have bought my system. This part 1 video is about to cover the new components I plan to install. Ok, so from the left hand side I have the EK FB kit RE4 CSQ nickel plexi version. This is the water block for the Rampage 4 Extreme. Then I have two noise broker multiframe S series, the same as I already have in the mold. Uh, one layer of E coolant blood red. The second SwiftTech MCP35X I will use in combination with the first one in series. Uh, I have an Arctic MX4 Thermopaste and I have the Silverstone 5.25 to 3.5 inch bay converter that I will use with my Ichi Dock uh, SSD rack. This is the Vertex 4 128 GB SSD. Then for the RAD, I have the SwiftTech MCR 120 XP and the 220 XP. I have also a Phobia Molex Extrator kit uh, for the sleeving. Then I have Coolant's flow meter. I will give you a closer look afterwards. Then I have a whole bunch of extension fittings 5mm, 15mm. I have also 90 degree dual rotary and 45 degree dual rotary fittings. I have Phobia uh, sleeve, Pit Phoenix extension cables for the fan, then I have uh, four SwiftX elbows, silver, and then uh, other extension fittings and uh, compression fittings. Ok, now for a closer look to the motherboard water block. This is the EKFB kit RE4 CSQ. It has the new CSQ design. It's the nickel proxy version. It comes with uh, mounting components and thermopad. You also have a complete installation manual that I recommend you to follow in details. This is the X79 chipset wall block. Nice top frosted plexi. I see K logo. Always nice and shiny. And uh, this is the water block for the mop set. According to EK, you won't get any better temperature than the default ASUS stock fan. But this little fan runs at 5000 RPM and it's very, very loud. I had to reduce the fan speed up to 50% for decent noise. And uh, my temperature increased due to this. So with this water block, I will no more have this noisy fan. And at the end, my PCH temperature will decrease. So I think this water block was the best source for me. Okay, on the left hand side, you have the flow meter I will use. It's the Coolant's INS FM17N. It can handle 1 to 15 liters per minute. 
and 0 to 70 degrees coolant temperature. You have to use it in combination with the coolant's ADT FM03 in the middle, which is a power adapter used to multiply the flow meter impeller signal. The flow meter has two one quarter inch thread to put spinnings on. You have to install it uh, following the correct liquid direction using this arrow, as you can see here, and plug this to the power adapter. Now the power adapter, the ADT FM03. On the right, you can set the tubing size. You have two different connector for two different model of flow meter. On the left, you have the power connector, and uh, you can set also the signal synchronization. So basically, you plug this to the power adapter. This one goes to your motherboard fadener, and this to your power supply. And this way, you can read the flow as it was on RPM farm signal. And the RPM you will read using this represents approximate coolant flow rates in milliliters per minute. Okay, the fans are the Noise Blocker Multiframe S series. It has the NBEKA Plus Drive and the NB Nano SLI technology. The model is the M12S3HS. Let's have a look at this spec. It's a 120 mm fan. It has 73 CFM, 1800 RPM, 27 decibels, and a six year warranty. Okay, let's have a closer look to the fan itself. This fan has a 40 mm uh, cable, which is sleeved, as you can see. The blades are smoked. It comes with uh, a silencer, a case patch, and uh, mounting screws. But I will not use these screws because I will use the screws I got with my radiator. Okay, now for a quick look to the SSD and the racks. So from the left hand side, I have the Ichidoc MB992SKB. You can fit a uh, two 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive inside it. I will give you a closer look shortly. Then I have the Silverstone 5.25 to 3.5 inch back router. I will fit uh, my Ichidoc inside it. And then I have my new Vertox 4 128GB. I will mean, install it through my HEDOC. Okay, now for a closer look to the Vertox 4. So this is the SSD. It comes with mounting screws, an installation guide, and also a sticker. It comes with a mounting bracket, but I will not choose it because I will use my HEDOC. Now for closer look to the SSD itself. Very nice looking SSD, aluminium backplate. Very cool stuff. Okay, now for closer look to the Ichi Dock. So you have the two drive tray and two LEDs. You have a uh, lock to secure your drives. Special design to give you a passive cooling. Two SATA connection and one power connection. Very good design. To release the tray, you just have to push this button and slide the tray. Also very nice design. To install your SSD you just have to remove these two screws and mount your SSD. I will show you how to do this afterwards. And then put the tray back in. Okay, I removed the bracket from the drive tray. 
as you can see here, I kept these two screws. You just have to line up your SSD to the drive tray like this and then secure it using screws like this and the two other one you kept. It's very easy. Okay, the Silverstone back converter. You can directly mount two SSDs on the back plate. Or you can use this kind of bracket with four holes. I will try to show you. Two holes here and two holes on the other side. To directly mount uh, a 3.5 inch rack at the Ichi dock, like this. Okay, I've mounted my Ichi dock into my uh, Silverstone uh, back converter. As you can see here, it has been secured using screws on the sides brackets, as I mentioned before. It has a very nice design, it will fit perfectly into my case. That's just to release the drive tray. As you can see, my Vertex 4 is installed inside it. Very cool. Very perfect. Okay, for a closer look to the MCP35X, this pump has 22 psi, 17.5 liters per minute flow rate, and 4.4 uh, meters of head. You have the power connector and the PWM connector to control the pump RPM. For a closer look. Warranty will be void if you install a pump top, so thanks to SwiftTech. It comes with two half inch barb and clamps. You have also mounting screws and neoprene pad uh, used to reduce vibration and uh, you can also uh, stick your pump to the, to the case. Very powerful little pump, and I will have two in series, so I think it will work. This is the SwiftTech MCR120 XP radiator. It comes with M3 mounting screws. It has 34 mm stick, so it's a slim form factor and 20 FPI. So it has been designed to work with uh, at least 1200 RPM fans. Very good looking small radiator. This is the SwiftTech MCR 220 XP, so it's the same model than the 120 but for two 120mm fans. M3 mounting screws as well. Cushion when you are mounting your fans to the radiator to protect the fins. So it has 20 FPI too. Let's have a closer look to the fins. And uh, 34 mm stick. This ends up this video. In the next one, I will drain my system and start to install my motherboard water block. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like and favorite, and stay tuned if you want to know more.